welcome to Tots and Mobs. My name is Kavita Prashant. In today's video, we'll talk about mosquitoes, how to safeguard our babies from them, and if at all there's a bite, how to, I mean, soothe uh, them, how to ensure there is, I mean, uh, the baby is not much in trouble. So all this uh, we'll talk in this video. Um, summer and mosquitoes come together and both are dangerous and both are difficult for kids. Now, um, I don't want to scare you further, but I want you to know that one mosquito can lay 100 eggs at a time and um, deadly diseases like malaria, zika, chikungunya, dengue, these are all, um, I mean, by mosquitoes. So it's highly important that we take extra care. Many feel that on this channel I talk about unconventional methods but I am somebody who will talk more about conventional methods. Now uh, the brand which I own Tots and Moms uh, we have a venture of our own organic foods and why did that all start because I found that the foods available easily in the market, uh, the baby food especially have a lot of sugar, salt and chemicals in it which is not good and um, that's how uh, this evolved and on my channel regularly I talk about giving only uh, breast milk to child if not give formula milk. Now many people find that it's easy to give cow's milk, we have been feeding our uh, children, grandchildren on cow's milk, what dangerous can it be and I tell that the protein which is is available in cow's milk it's for uh, calf not for human babies so uh, when I explain uh, people try to understand most of them do not they neglect like when I made a video on biscuits they are like uh, when I get biscuit for five rupees why will I spend 200 rupees to make it at home it's easier it's affordable that's what people think see the mentality has to change we have to understand just because um, I mean why are they manufacturing it because we are blindly uh, buying them, using them. Now let's come to uh, the mosquito repellents part. Uh, here uh, there are a lot of chemicals used like transfluthrin, uh, DEET, BHT, deodorized kerosene, all these when inhaled can be dangerous and um, we just don't, I mean uh, you buy a pack of it and check behind you can find a danger symbol like this and it would also mention a main uh, precaution that you have to use it only uh, with the doors open. Now what do we do? As soon as it is evening we will close all the windows and doors and switch it on and at a stretch of 8 to 10 hours, sometimes 24 hours we use it. When inhaled regularly, it can be dangerous. Now, if you are telling and claiming that I have been using it for uh, using coils or liquids or goodnight mat, those don't exist now anymore. But I have been using it since ages, nothing happened to me. Now, uh, there are so many uh, health concerns which uh, our current generation is dealing with. We don't even know how did it happen, why did it happen be it any sort of cancer or any other disease. So all this our body is going through maybe um, uh, I mean uh, an ill effect of this. So why not um, I mean be cautious while we can use our own old natural uh, things to get rid of them. So in our next section I will be talking about it. Most of you all will know the tips which I am going to share. Simple things, why do you want a video for that? This is just a pat on your back. There is something that we can do naturally. If you have forgotten, let me remind you. That's all about it. First thing, a clean environment. Now, um, keep your surroundings clean, clean, clean. Mop your house uh, daily with a disinfectant, especially with the baby. It's very uh, important to keep it clean. And um, next, if you have uh, any water bodies, like uh, you have a water fountain, fish tank, any place where the water can be stagnant and become a breeding place for mosquitoes, you have to ensure that you keep it neat. Um, bathroom, toilet, sink, wash basin, these are some places where you have to be careful about. Throw the garbage daily once, do not accumulate much of it and uh, if at all you can call for a pest services then nothing like it. Once um, get it done before the summer or during the summer that can 
be of a bit relief next tip is to store food items safely now uh, fruits vegetables have an aroma of themselves naturally and um, mosquitoes are easily attracted to it now this is something i use uh, for fruit this covers that and uh, not much of a problem it is uh, these days and vegetables if you can observe uh, as soon as they become old uh, they start rotting a bit <laughs> you can observe that there are a lot of mosquitoes over it so keep the vegetables covered or in a safer place even onion tomato potato these are something which you keep out and you don't know how much mosquitoes are uh, around it and um, yeah do not use scented products like air freshener or um, even on babies uh, scented perfumes scented uh, lotions or powders avoid uh, things like that because mosquitoes are easily attracted to any uh, scent like that and keep the sweat away is another tip now um, mosquitoes are easily attracted to odor now our body is again if it is sweating it is um, having a very harsh smell and uh, even the dampness the wet skin can attract the warmth in the skin can attract mosquitoes so uh, bathe your baby once a day well and good twice a day great now uh, while bathing ensure that you are not bathing your child with very hot water because after bathing the child when you put cloth over the body the skin is still damp or the baby may sweat again with that heat so please ensure you bathe the baby with only warm water and uh, if at all in the evening you cannot bathe again wipe off the baby skin uh, using a wet cloth that would be great and mosquito repellent plants at home uh, can be a great way to safeguard ourselves from mosquitoes uh, rosemary thyme tulsi which is holy basil at home and uh, Uh, citronella so many plants if uh, i have missed on something and you know some other plants please name them in the description i mean in the comment section i would love to know them so uh, these are something which you have at home in a pot this will safeguard you to an extent and also if you can rub it and wipe it on your skin they act like a natural repellent not uh, repellent sorry not like uh, chemicals for a longer duration but an hour or two they can safeguard our us then create physical barriers for these mosquitoes like net mesh are the easiest way now uh, this foldable net which comes for uh, king size and queen size is something i have been uh, i mean uh, an ardent fan of and i have been using it for a very long time so i highly recommend it the link is in description box you can check it it is affordable 1000 1300 something and it is durable as well and for kids only when they are sleeping alone you can use this single umbrella sort uh, um, mosquito net and um, then you can mesh the windows and doors well and good mosquito bats are one of the safe and <laughs> easiest way and fun way of uh i mean preventing mosquito bites and uh, there are electronic gadgets as well electronic repellents uh, which come with music or something they uh, emit some rays or music which can be i mean uh, which can help in keeping the mosquitoes away but there is a debate on it if it is safe on humans or not so hence i am not sure if i need to recommend that and um, there are other natural ways like um, uh putting camphor in a cup uh with a one spoon of water uh keeping it in a corner of a room would avoid um uh, mosquitoes and uh, herb smoke is also great there are diy mosquito catchers uh there is another diy which is quite famous using lemon uh, and um, pinning in cloves into it it looks something like this if kept uh, in a corner of a room it can be highly effective is what they say so uh, if you know some diys like this that can also be helpful and uh, if we talk about fabric and clothing you can uh, safeguard your child by um, uh, i mean uh, putting him with cloths covering his whole whole body and uh, cottons are good because they absorb sweat 
and uh, loose fitted cloths because when it is loose fitted there are less chances that the mosquito bite can touch the skin of a child so try this it is really helpful and i have tried this and uh, fabrics of lighter color are good on your child and also in the surroundings like curtains or uh, door mats or uh, bed spreads anything like this when you choose to use uh, during summer it is good to use light colors which will uh, keep the mosquitoes away uh, if you can see on black cloths or dark blue uh, curtains there are more of mosquitoes than in a uh, well lit space so um, this is the main reason so these are some natural tips i had for you now we'll talk about remedies Even after protection and um, safeguarding your child in lot many ways, if you see a bite on your, uh, I mean, a child's face, I know how um, scary, how um, heart wrenching it can be. There are no words when your child is hurt. Uh, you are full of guilt. Now, how to? Um, soothe the pain how to soothe the skin how to ensure that there is no itching irritation um, for your child who cannot even talk and express himself now ice cubes are an easier way uh, rub an ice cube on the skin very gently and don't keep it for too long because baby skin is delicate yet so rub it the itchiness will reduce and um, Saliva has great antibacterial properties. Baby saliva, if you can take and apply on that place, it is great. There are so many Ayurvedic remedies which uh, use saliva and also, uh, I mean, I don't know if you have heard, my mom used to always say whenever we uh, used to fall and there was a slight a scratch or something on the skin she used to ask us to apply our own saliva it has antibacterial properties it has uh, skin tissue repairing um, um, I mean enzymes and um, also it has this moisturizing effect that um, it soothes the skin now the itching can reduce and your baby can feel comfortable then is baking soda tip now uh, one spoon of baking soda you can mix it with uh, one cup of water and put a, a thin layer on baby's skin and leave it for 10 minutes then wipe off this will also reduce the itchiness the pain and um, lemon drops are uh, told to be helpful uh, if you can even uh, crush a garlic thyme rosemary or tulsi and just uh, rub a drop or two on that uh, skin these are uh, some tips i had Uh, at the end, I wanted to recommend you, uh, I mean, uh, when I talk about repellents, repellents with full of chemicals are dangerous. Now, there are a lot of natural repellents which can be helpful and um, I mean, uh, they are not really expensive as um, the world says. Something natural is expensive, something organic is expensive. A little on a higher side it will be because the effort put in is a lot because these are not uh, manufactured in MNCs. These are manufactured in small scale units and they come up with a thought like us that they don't want to use chemicals. So, so uh, here um, you can find few natural repellents which I am recommending which are made using herbs, uh, made using uh, safe ingredients, um, especially for babies you need to be that uh, extra careful and mommies all over the world, parents all over the world swayed by uh, going natural, organic. So this is one step uh, and I am sure you will uh, be happy with the end result. So check. Uh, all these products the link would be in the description box and if you have any other ways that uh, we can safeguard our child from mosquitoes do mention in the comment section i tried to keep the video uh, as simple and as useful as possible if you like my videos ensure you like the video share the video with your friends and uh, in our next videos i'll be talking about bored legs uh, the cause um, the signs how you can make out and if it is dangerous when should you visit a doctor uh, is there a cure uh, all these things we'll talk in uh, the next video so do watch do subscribe and stay tuned bye bye